Hi, my name is Aaron Linsdow. I'm a polar explorer and professional traveler. Today I'm going to review the Tilt Battery Banks. Let me put these things up close in one, two, three. I just used them on a filming trip and I want to tell you my experience with them. These tilt battery banks actually worked really, really well. I'm going to put a review on this video for you so you can see what they're like and how valuable they were for me. So first, uh, let me tell you what are battery banks. Well, let me pull up one close here. Hopefully the camera will focus. And what this is, is this can actually recharge your phone, your iPad, your camera or whatever. It has a charging port and then also and a outward or outward bound current port where you can plug in and charge your devices. Now you can see this is 5200 milliamp per hours. Compare this to my PNY chargers that, let me click that, they're only 2200 milliamp per hours. Now the reason I got these tilt battery chargers is simply because they actually can make my cameras not only ju just charge them, but they actually were able to charge my Osmo Pocket while using it. So when I was actually using my Osmo Pocket, filming one of my videos in airport, the battery was starting to poop out on me. And so I said, okay, I'll, I'll plug this in. That way it can keep my Osmo Pocket running and keep the battery stable. That's when I discovered whatever the magic is in these things, the tilt batteries, they actually not only kept my Osmo Pocket running, the battery voltage or percent actually went up, which blew me away. And that's why I'm doing this review for you, just to let you know that these things actually have enough juice to not only run your Osmo Pocket, but actually charge it up while you're running. Now, you can see on here, this is the USB-A port and this is the USB Mini. The USB-A port, let me show you just how this works. I would plug, my standard USB-A into here, no USB-C yet, you just have to deal with that. But the USB-C end on this end, I can plug into my Osmo Pocket. And now my Osmo Pocket shows, oh, it might be a little overexposed. It shows it's charging at 97%. Now you can see here that there are four indicator lights on this bank. And as it charges, each one of these bank lights will disappear until it gets to one dot. Now, I was able to literally put this cable into my pocket and walk around and do my filming. It was really sweet. So any device that has a USB-A charge, you can hook it in, charge it up your device, and it's ready to rock, which is pretty slick. Now. A couple people have complained on Amazon that this doesn't come with any instructions. Now I'm going to give you the instructions on how to actually use this. First, a cool little feature is it actually has an LED on here. So the little button, if you double click, it will actually turn on a little LED as a flashlight. Now granted, you might have your phone or whatever else, but that's a nice little feature and you can double click again to shut it off. Now I've got my 12 watt Apple charging bricks here. I love these because they deliver a lot more power and you can actually take this off. I don't know why that matters, but you can actually put the cable plug on there. And this is a standard USB-A. And the, the Tilt battery kit, I bought the three pack, comes with three cables. It has the USB, whoa, focus the USB-A here and then the USB micro. So what you do is you plug in the A to the charger, you plug in the charging brick to here, and then the micro USB you plug into the battery. And you can see here that this unit probably just needs to be a little topped up the top light is blinking. Once the top light stops blinking, that means the unit is fully charged and that's really all you need to know. So this is the charging point on the unit. 
the micro is the charging point, and the A is where you charge your stuff with. Pretty slick. Now, let me show you how much these things weigh. Let me fire up my handy dandy scale here, and these, each of these units weighs 4.3 ounces. Let me hold this, I'll show you. Each one of these units weighs 4.3 ounces, or for my grams, friends, that's 124 grams, about 0.1 kilos. Now, three of these, of course, can weigh, it weighs a lot more. I mean, obviously, three units, 12.9 ounces. Let's see what I know what I'm doing. Or for my grams, friends, 366 grams. What does that actually translate to in real world charging? Well, I took a couple pictures on my phone and charging up this one unit fully charged took my iPhone XS from 24% to 93%. It took about two hours of charging. Now, that, that's pretty good. I mean, when I hook my phone up to one of these 12 watt guys, that's, that's roughly what I get. So one tilt charges my iPhone XS from 24 to 93% in about two hours. So my, uh, my iPad started at 17% at 552 AM and then it charged up to 51% right there, 51% at 821. So that means that in 8, let's see, so 552 to 821, eh, it's like two and a half hours. It goes from 17% up to 51%. So a, a, a full iPad, this unit can goose it up to uh, about 30% of an iPad in two and a half hours. That's pretty good considering how much power an iPad needs. Now, for my iPad uh, charger to actually indicate charging. And that, of course, is always a problem with iPads with weak power bricks, they just can't get there. So these tilt units to charge my Osmo Pocket through USB-A to USB-C to charge my iPhone, my iPad and all that, they actually do really, really well. In fact, just running around London filming for eight or nine days, I only really needed one, even though I packed all three of them. I only needed one. I could goose up my phone and my Osmo Pocket and have no problem. So I have to say these uh, charging banks that I bought, even though I definitely like my PNYs, I'll put a, a, uh, a link below. You can see the size differential here. My PNYs are lighter, but they're only 2200 milliampers instead of 5200. These tilts have enough juice compared to my PNYs where I've basically switched over. So that is what these are. Cannot recommend them enough. My name is Aaron Lindstow. I'm a polar explorer and professional traveler. Please like and comment on the video. And if you found it useful, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching and enjoy your travels.